Welcome back, it is day four of the how to lose a client in seven days, seven day challenge. And um, right now we're gonna be talking about just saying no. One of the most common problems which I see small business owners doing is just taking on too much stuff. Um, and that's because we are very honest, lovely, generous people with tons of integrity and we hate saying no to people. Um, if we say yes to too much stuff, and I've been very guilty of this, um, sometimes it's very difficult to um, what's the way of putting it back out basically so what I'm going to do on this one is give you a couple of ways of managing client expectations or managing people's expectations so that you um, feel a little bit more empowered to assert yourself when you're dealing with um, prospects clients partners um, or anything that kind of crops up in business really um, but the first thing is um, I need to reassure you that it's absolutely fine just to say no to stuff. You don't even need to justify it. And this is the second mistake. So first mistake is not having, um, not saying no, but the second thing is then having the need to justify it. Sometimes you can just turn around and just say, look, I'm really sorry, but that's not the right thing to do for me. Um, that doesn't really fit with my strategic plan for my business over the next X number of months or years. Um, I had an instant where, or not an instant, I had, I had a thing where I'd um, said yes to um, what I thought was just guesting on a podcast. Um, next thing you know, I was actually running the podcast with somebody. And quite frankly, if I was going to do a podcast, I would probably do it myself and then get you guys in um, as my guests and help promote my little group of people. Why would I want to use my um, knowledge, expertise, whatever, to, um, and and how I was kind of like, well, this isn't gonna help me grow, raise my own profile because without sounding too big headed, my prof profile's okay. And I said yes initially, and I was thinking, oh gosh, how am I gonna say no to this? And I just went to her and I just said, look, I'm really sorry, but um, you know, it's, it, this isn't just, this is just something which I can't commit to right now. I've got way too much on, um, I'm really sorry. And she actually turned around and said, oh, well, I've got somebody else for the podcast anyway, who's, who, who would be, a be and not a better fit, she said, would be a good fit. So thank you for, thank you for your honesty. And normally what happens is when we say no, no, the pe somebody comes back and they say thank you to us because it just shows our honesty and our integrity. Worst case scenario is you say yes to something and you do a shit job of it and the client's just going to become resentful or maybe you're not, you say yes at a discounted rate or something like that. Somebody in this scenario is going to be unhappy. It, I've never found a situation whereby you've said yes to something you don't really want to do and there is any kind of a win-win situation. It's more often than not a lose-lose situation and that is not good for anybody. So you you, first of all, you need to just say no to stuff that you don't feel comfortable with. You could just buy yourself a bit of time and you'll make your stock response rather than yes or no, you could say, would you mind if I had a couple of days to think about it? And that's just a good way of just giving yourself a bit of distance and time to, to think about the situation that you might be getting yourself into. Um, and again, I've said that to a number of people and then in the two or three days, um, in between me coming back to them, they've either just drifted away because actually it wasn't a big thing for them or they've said something along the lines of, oh, do you know what, actually I thought about this and maybe we could do it differently. And I'm like, yeah, of course, let's let's do it differently. So um, buy yourself a bit of time to say, no, if, is, is okay if I take a couple of days to think about this? And then at that point, you're already managing their expectations because when you go away to think about something, that person then has two or three days to work out what they're gonna do if you say yes and what they're gonna do if you say no. I don't, that sentence just made no sense, but I think it made sense. Um, so, so really this is just about empowering yourselves to say no. Now what this will start to do if you're clever with it, so if you've got things like a default diary in place, you've worked out what your capacity is, um, you can have a quick look at your default diary, you can have a quick look at your, your capacity planner or your year planner for you know the year ahead, for example, and go, Ah, do you know what actually, I haven't got time for that. It's not gonna give me the benefits of uh, the outcome that I want for it. It's not gonna make me money. Um, uh, you know, you've gotta look at what the outcomes are gonna be whenever somebody asks for something of you. Um, one of the most difficult ones is when you maybe have got a client on board already and everybody else is paying a bit more money um, because your prices have naturally gone up, that client starts asking for more and more and more. When you have to start managing the expectations when you've already sold somebody into your product or service, that's one of the hardest conversations with your ha that you'll have with somebody. 
And my best piece of advice there is just honesty. Just sit, sit them down, take them out for a coffee or buy them lunch and just say, look, this is the situation. Um, I don't have the capacity to do it. It's not making me enough money. There are things I've got to do in my business that I can't do whilst I'm servicing you. Um, what are we going to do about it? So you can then, it enters into a negotiation and you both make the decision to move forward together. Um, if it's not going to work out for both parties, i.e. win-win, then you have to make that very difficult decision to say, look, I'm really sorry, but I think you need to find some, somebody else um, to do X, Y, and Z for you. Or better still, um, if you've got a partner who you know could do what they want, you say, look, I'm really sorry, this isn't gonna work out for me, but I would love to introduce you to Joe, and Joe will be the guy who will be taking care of your X, Y, and Z needs from now, now on. Um, so, let's say yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> let's say no. Um, so that was my uh, tip on just saying no. It's all about empowerment, being confident, honesty, integrity, um, make sure you have a plan, give yourself distance and time, make sure you say to people, can I just take a couple of days to think about that and be in control of your business. That's the key thing. So that was day four of the seven day how to lose a client in seven days challenge. Uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day five.